So I recently rewatched Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and I must say it is an amazing movie. But one thing that I thought of was the fact that LEGO hasn't made any sets from it. But there are so many cool scenes that they could have made, such as the Particle Collider, the spider Lair, Miles' dorm. And so I took on the challenge of building a really cool mock from the movie, and the first thing to do was to choose the scene. So I ended up choosing the Alchemax lab in the Hudson Valley, where Miles and Peter B. Parker go to fix the goober, but end up getting caught by Dr. Olivia Octavius, and they end up meeting Spider-Gwen. In order to make this in true LEGO fashion, it would need minifigures, one big build, and lots of smaller builds. So I got started on the minifigures. First I took Miles and Gwen from the Daily Bugle set, and then I took the normal Spider-Man minifigure and gave it sweatpants rather than its suit bottom, because Peter B. Parker is wearing sweatpants in that scene. Then I used the Doc Ock body and the Doc Ock tentacles, and I added in a custom face and hair for Dr. Olivia Octavius. And the biggest challenge in terms of minifigures was building Kingpin, since he is a big fig. And after a couple hours of building and some heavy inspiration from Hachiroku and Sacred Bricks' designs, the links to their channels and videos will be in the description, it turned out to be pretty good in my opinion. I made some modifications as to not make it a direct copy, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Then the first small build I made was the computer that Miles ends up taking with him because he didn't have any time to retrieve the data he needed to retrieve. Then I got to building the main part of the mock, which is the Alchemax lab itself. My idea for it was to make it about two floors with a modern style and lots of big windows. And I think it turned out pretty cool. After that, for the smaller builds, I wanted to have these little patches of terrain with trees because they do swing through trees. And so I built three patches of terrain, one without any trees, one with two trees, and one with only one tree. Then all that was left was to place the minifigures and position the terrains where I wanted it in respect to the build itself, and then it was done. So first up, we have the terrain patches, which have some nice nougat detailing and some nice patches of grass, and I have some trees, which I think look really nice, with some webs hanging from it, and all of the minifigures posed in some really cool positions. For the Alchemax lab, the walls have a little bit of texturing using headlight bricks, but not too much because it is modern. There's lots of these big glass windows made using the Daily Bugle panes, since the Daily Bugle comes with like over 200 of them. There's these glass double doors and inside is this office area with two desks, a kitchen area, and a water cooler and I think that looks really cool. And for the second floor I went with this balcony where Kingpin is standing and there's a nice gray and tan pattern on the floor to add some color and the wall is actually slanted to add to the modern design of it and I think overall it looks really cool. There's some antenna on the roof since it is a lab after all and I think overall this mock turned out really cool and I do think I really accomplished the style that LEGO could possibly make this set into so please LEGO make some Into the Spider-Verse sets. That would be awesome. But thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.